Hey there, everyone. Enough issues are resolved that I feel I can get back to recording, so let's start with a Mega Man game that I've been wanting to cover for a while. And you might notice a difference in sound quality. That's because I'm actually recording on my wife's computer, and she uses a headset for work, so I thought I'd use it for leisure. And it is working out pretty well so far, I have to say. It's really... I really like it. I've done a lot of audio tests with it, and... I'm really looking forward to seeing how we do. I'm trying to keep my voice in even keel. I'm used to screaming into a standalone mic, basically. So I'm trying to keep my voice in an even keel. Oh, this is a pretty funny part right here. What's wrong with it, Mega Man? Personally, I think it's pretty nice. I mean, it's a Metool helmet. After all, they are indestructible. Epic time, coming up. Nice setup, Otto. Alright, good luck at that intro level. Thanks, Roll. Thanks, baby. I'd give you a kiss, but you know, you're my sister and all. Uh-oh, oh man. No, 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 don't worry about that, Mega Man. Her place is in the kitchen. Kind of hard to get through this dialogue at first, but uh, if, we win in, if we win a fight here in a minute, it'll be easier to just scroll through with the start button. Check out my awesome finger pointing animation. You know he just pointed over the museum so he could show off his awesome lush long hair. Boy, I feel you, Dr. Light. I've got long hair too. I like to show it off at every possible opportunity. Trademark finger wag. And there he goes. Busted out of prison. We gotta go stop him. Ah, uh, can you wait? I have to like do my taxes and go get lunch. Okay, I'll go now. And now we have, like, Mega Man X, a little intro level. This one is uh, substantially easier. Not quite as uh, architecturally crazy as the Mega Man X level. But this game definitely took its inspiration from uh, other Mega Man games in places. Like, with this game, the intro level is from Mega Man X. I think I'm going to want to charge up my Mega Buster here for this. This is the, uh, I believe this boss is called the Mad Grinder. Uh, I know they're enemies, but, oh, poor little Metools. Oh, well. Gotta break a few uh, med tools if you want to make an omelet. This boss is super easy. Super easy mini boss. Doesn't even have an energy bar. All you gotta do is, uh, all you gotta do is, f oh, wow, dang, jump over the buzzsaw when he drops it on you, and then, wow, that was really quick. That was even quicker than I was anticipating. He left a big old mess. What a douche. I should have made him clean it up. I should have left him alive just a little longer. Now we really want to charge up the Mega Buster, because here comes another kind of brainless fight right here. This is base. Gonna try not to get hit by the laser too much. I'm just gonna sit here and just pelt him with the pea shooter, really. Oh, hey, wow, boy. Okay, he knows I'm standing now. He, uh, okay, now he'll start jumping in. I guess if I start standing too long, he'll, uh, I guess if I start standing around too long, he'll start shooting at ground level. Boy, he is kind of smart, actually. Yeah, see, now we can just scroll through it since we won here with the start button. I'm base and he's treble. Oh yay, more rock star names. Awesome. Nope, I've got it just fine on my own. Thank you. I've been doing this for six whole games now, plus a series set in the future. Base? Bass? Is that how you say it? Another mystery to solve as we go on to the first set of levels. Inspiration of which is taken from, actually, the Game Boy games. We're going to go with four bosses here at the start. Only four bosses are revealed to us, and we'll get the other four after we beat these guys. So it's like the Game Boy games in that way, which is kind of nice, actually, because this can be a really hard game at times. But we're going to start in today with Burst Man's level. Burst Man is the uh, best boss to start with, and even his level is kind of hard sometimes. I like how they brought back the uh, classic music, though, and that is a nice little speeding by light speed background, too. Just everything about the boss intros in this game, very cool. But now we actually get started in an actual for real level where we can probably die really easily. There was like a little rinky dink pit in the intro level, but here now we've got bombs and spikes and boy they they don't they don't mess around. They start right in with the obstacles. We're gonna touch these bombs. We gotta touch them mostly to get by around here. We cannot reach this one up down here yet. But that shouldn't be a problem because once we go down here we'll be getting an energy tank. 
didn't even see it, but we'll check it out on the uh, pause menu here real quick. Got your Mega Buster, your Rush Coil, which we're going to be using today. And uh, to go to the next page, there's two pages on the menu, start, pause menu. And to go to the next one, you press the Y button, and we got an energy tank there, you see. We've got energy tanks, we've got weapon energy tanks, and we have a special energy tank, which will refill everything, but I think we can only have one of those. And uh, we have, I think, reserve tanks down there, an energy balancer, a power-up of some sort. I guess that's what PU stands for. Wow, we only start off with two lives, dang. That's pretty crazy. I think that's three, because zero counts as one, but still, dang. And BO stands for bolts. Bolts are going to be the uh, the money in this game. Let's go ahead and get back to the main screen, then. Yeah, we're going to be able to use money in this game, because we're going to be buying some things out of the shop occasionally. So, anytime an enemy drops a bolt or a screw or a nut, just pick it up, because you're going to need all the money you can get. And sometimes there's... Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Well, can I still get up there from here? I didn't mean to touch that one off yet, but maybe it'll respawn if I get lucky. So let's try it here. Yeah, I don't think I'll be getting up there too easily anytime. Oh, hey, good. I got up there. That's a one-up. I definitely wanted that. So let's get off Rush Coil now. And take this bomb down into the Wagga. Waga. I was trying to say either Agua or Water, and I couldn't decide. Bleh. <laughs> so, now we're going to face, coming up here, see, this is this is actually really tough right here for the beginning of the game. Dang, that dude had air. I don't know how he didn't touch me, honestly. Okay, come out of hiding. Come out of your shell. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay. So, I'm going to pop... See, this... If you played a Mega Man game, you know that you jump really high in the water, so you got to control your jumps very carefully by just tapping the button. That's a very narrow corridor to have to get into, especially for the first level of the game. I'm surprised I didn't botch that there, actually. And now we have a uh, mini-boss. These are not unique to this game. We're going to stand over here in this corner. He's going to shoot some clear bubbles that are just going to pop right down by me. Oh, he didn't shoot up. That was kind of a rip. This guy is kind of cheesing me off here. And again, be careful. Spikes at the top. But as many bosses go, this one is not too hard. Wow, he is, a. Uh, why is it, wow, he took longer to kill than even the Mad Grinder dude, who was way bigger. Oh, wow, nice, an energy refill, though. Nice to stand in front of him when they do that. Now we're going to have to be careful floating up here. The spikes don't appear until really the very last minute, almost. Kind of tough at times. And we don't really need a weapon refill. This is the first level. That's very useless. Now you want to be careful when you're jumping into the purple bubble water the Mega Mac here. You want to be super careful because you don't want to jump down into it. You'll dip way hard and hit the spikes. So what you want to do is you just want to dip gently into the water by walking in. And uh, the game will be using this rising and falling water to strategic effect as we go on throughout the level. This is actually a pretty long level for the first level, so it's padding out time nicely. And now we get Block Puzzle. Block Puzzles are doubly annoying in this game because they don't look like the block puzzles of old, and they make weird noises, just like everything else in this game. Like that click sound every time you jump. Just everything about this game is weird and strange and kind of blocky. And now that you've uh, seen a block puzzle once, they're going to do the traditional Mega Man thing of giving it to you again, but putting it over spikes. But in that case, it's not too hard. It's not like when they did put the one that appeared over the top there, they didn't put it over spikes or anything. It wasn't punishing like a Heat Man level, so... It wasn't too terrible. All right, that that little bolt right there is worth one, and if we pick up slightly bigger one, that's going to be worth, I believe, five. There is the letter R. We're going to be collecting the letters R U S H throughout the first three levels, in order to get ourselves a special item, the super adapter. Let's let the water carry us gently up. That's one of the easier ones to get. We'll be backtracking through levels occasionally, uh, so. We're gonna be uh, going back and forth and doing a few things before we move on to uh, before we move on to some of the later stages. All of which I believe. Okay, no, I was gonna say all of which I believe start with S. There are a lot of bosses in this game that start with S. Actually, okay, there are three. There's uh, Spring Man, Slash Man, and Shade Man. There's got to be more than that. I feel like there's more than that, because I feel this, like this game was like densely populated with S-bosses, but I guess not. Wow. 
That was almost a very dangerous dip onto the spikes there, but now I'm going to have to wait once more. We're almost at the end of the level here. We're not doing too badly, but I'm going to try to be quiet and concentrate during the Burst Man fight because I often need supreme concentration to pull it off correctly. It's very tough. Burst Man is like Bubble Man if Bubble Man was a total dick. Ah, oh, I hate that sound, too. Like, when you go through a door in this game, when you go through a boss door, there is, a, like, a canned cymbal crash sound that sounds really awful, and I hate it. Here, you'll hear it again in just a second. That's really stupid. It's like, why would they make the door close like that? But there's Burst Man right there making his entrance. We're going to shoot charged Mega Buster shots at him. That'll knock him back and make bombs come out of him. And then we'll shoot him with a pea shooter until these things start coming at us. They'll carry us up into the spikes, and they're very hard to get rid of. They're very hard to shoot your way out of. You want to jump between them. And those uh, orange bubbles will actually push you back. So he's got a variety of bubbles at his disposal. But if we can keep a rhythm going here, I'm not too worried. This is a good time to charge your Mega Buster when you're jumping between these things right here. All right. And you want to stop holding forward as soon as you get between them. Okay, he's about halfway down on his life, so he's going to start getting a little more aggressive. He's going to stop shooting the uh, orange bubbles pretty soon here. And he's going to go exclusively for the one that can send us up into the spikes. Okay, or not, but... Oh, crap. Boy, I am not watching my jumping very carefully. Yeah, we want to be really careful, but uh, this orange bubble should pop before the purple ones get to us. Okay, and uh, one more Mega Buster shot and a few Pea Shooter shots should do it. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, do one more Mega Buster shot. But yeah, it's just a battle of back and forth with Burst Man. Pretty surprised I did that on the first try. I usually have a lot of trouble with that one. But that's going to do it for us, and we're going to get our first weapon, which is the Danger Wrap. Very nice animated sequence for a weapon getting in this game. And every time you get a weapon, Mega Man will ask a rhetorical question about what it does. The Danger Rat fires out a bomb and case and a bubble, doesn't it? That is exactly hyper-specifically right, Mega Man. Why did you even ask me if you already knew? And then Dr. Wily, or Dr. Wily, Dr. Light will give you some obtuse hint about how the weapon works and different ways you can use it. Not just for its intended use, but for other ways, and it says it can encase things besides bombs, by which he means enemies. But that is going to do it for us today. We're not going to worry too much about passwords, and uh, next time, we've already defeated Burst Man. We could go back to his stage if we wanted, if there were items that we forgot. You can backtrack between stages in this game, and we're going to need to do that later on, but we're not going to need to do it today. Next time, we're going to move on over to Cloud Man's stage. So, see you guys then.